we about to hit up this patrol and step off to the spot. You down? Nah, man. I ain't messing with that. Why? Let me tell you why. Well, it's that God in me. Oh, God? What you talking about? Well, it's that God in me. He said God? What? Well, it's that God in me. God. You don't know who I'm talking about? Let me tell you. Well, it's that God in me. Check this out. God. God. Let me break it down to you. God. Jesus told us how to hold our head. That's why we... Hello. Hey, hey. Yes, 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 yes. We, we are back. We are back. We are back. We are back in the house. Yes. Wow, wow, what? wow. Yeah. Yo, yeah, what's yeah, that? yeah. That's Martin. We don't do no Martin up in here, even though he is kind of funny. What's up? But no oh, Martin. I wasn't really thinking about Martin when well, I said you, that. But. Yeah. Okay. 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 Pardon <laughs> me. Pardon me. Anyway, I know what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking. I know I'm the Devil Slayer. And I'm Mrs. Devil Slayer. And we are the love chapters. We are. Right? We are the love chapters. Yeah. 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 And uh, we want to say hi to you guys. Mm-hmm. It's Monday evening. Great um, evening. Yeah. We want to say to our set. positive power family. Yeah. For, First, let's start off with our uh, uh, brother, um, and our the listeners. Batman, the Batman, Jerry Royce and Skeet and all the f- fabulous people here at Positive Power 21 Network. You know, I got to check out Skeet's show. Yeah. Skeet, you know, Skeet have a live band. He has a live, live, blah, blah. He has a live band, y'all. Skeet. Yeah. Skeet got a band. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all need to really <laughs> check out Peace and air grease. I know. I know. It's, it's so... <laughs> You know what? It's wholesome. It is. And, you know, you know, I was just thinking, I'm so glad that um, there's a need. There's a need yeah. for more yeah. uh, wholesome yeah. entertainment for the young people and for the children. Yeah. So kudos to you, Jerry, for yeah. um, just your obedience and yeah. putting this uh, entertainment together for the children. You're yeah. doing the Lord's work. You're doing the Lord's work, brother. Yeah, what she said. Yeah. You know, really. And um, everybody else is out there. Our listeners all yeah. over the globe. We love yeah. you. Thank you for your support. Always tuning in. Thank you for our listeners in the U.S., our close family and friends. Um, and, in- and and overseas, too. Yes. Abroad. There's a, they, we got we got large bases of listeners overseas in each country, over 150 countries. Yeah, we are so Thank blessed. you guys for your support. Mm-hmm. And um tuning in and subscribing as well you know amen amen guys you would be god the lord the lord told us Mm -hmm. even before we got married even before this radio show was it was in existence came into existence that um a lot of our supporters would be people that we don't even know from far off lands. And um, that's what's happening. A lot of listeners, a lot of people are are tuning in and they're listening to what we're saying as Christians, as the calling upon our lives. And he told us about it prophetically way before it happened. And now it's happening. Amen. It's amazing. And, and, and guess what he said? The what? best is yet to come. The best mm, 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 is yet to, to come. come. You ain't mm, mm, seen nothing. nothing. You, you ain't, ain't seen, seen nothing, nothing yet. yet. Mm, 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 mm. You, you ain't, ain't mm, mm, seen nothing. nothing. You, you ain't, ain't seen, seen nothing, nothing yet. yet. You ain't Mm-mm. see nothing. Mm-mm. You, you ain't, ain't see, see nothing yet. yet. <laughs> you ain't come on, come on. <laughs> see nothing. You, you ain't see, see nothing yet. yet. You ain't Mm-mm. see nothing. You, you ain't see nothing yet. yet. 
<laughs> Glory to God. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for another uh, day, another splendid weekend, yes, another Father. splendid Monday evening where we get to share what happened to us in the weekend and from last week. And we, yes, we can Lord. just come to a place where we can let it all out, leave all our troubles, problems, trials and tribulations yes, at the door and say, Ah, thank you, God, that we can be in a place of rest. Yes, Father. Knowing that you got us covered from the devil's snare. Yes, From the foulest snare. Hallelujah. And that the tents are here and the camels is right in our backyard. Hallelujah. Amen. We thank you for everything that you've done for us. We thank you for the love, the guidance, the protection that you placed on our lives. Yes. In our lives because of the remarkable, magnificent blood of the Lamb. Yes. Jesus Emmanuel, King of King and Lord of Lords, we say amen and Hallelujah. 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 Well, we had another fabulous weekend, didn't we, Mrs. Devil Slayer? <laughs> yes, we did, Mr. Devil Slayer. Wow, we had... Ch- oh, happy Father's Day to all the fathers. I know it was uh, yesterday, but you know, hey, listen, Father's Day should be every day because the main father, our sovereign father up in heaven, mm-hmm. he should get... We should. It should be a happy Father's Day every day because of our Lord. Yes. Amen? Yes, he is the I am. I am Adonai Yahweh mm-hmm. Jehovah. Yeah. Oh my goodness, he wears so many hats. Mm-hmm. So we just honor him. Yes. For uh, this special Father's Day yeah. weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ultimately, and also, I am giving a shout out to my father. Oh yeah, my father too. Shout out. Yeah. <laughs> to my dad. Yeah. My pops. He's my yeah, pop. He's a good guy. He is. He's a great guy. Yeah, Hard working yeah. man. I call him big guy. Hey, big guy. <laughs> Hard working man. I love you. Yeah, he's he's real cool, too. Mm-hmm. Really cool guy. Wow. Shout out to my father-in-law. Yeah. Bob. Yeah. We love you. Yeah. He's a good guy as well. Yeah. Very interesting guy. Intelligent. Very intelligent. <laughs> very intellectually, very intellectually yep. intelligent. Mm-hmm. You know? Amen. Shout out. That was, that's redundant. I said intellectually intelligent. <laughs> My brother, who's a dad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> happy Father's Day to all of our relatives um, who have children and, um, you know, um, many more to come. <laughs> all right. So, uh, we, get into we are. The word, y'all. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Well, um, this segment is. Um, predicated towards we've been talking about commitment those of you who've been tuning in and we just wanted to give y'all the 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 behind the scenes of what it takes for us to actually get to the place called commitment because many may not know um what we go through or Mm. maybe you do but we just wanted to give you encouragement and just there's just the the steps sometimes that you may need to overcome some hurdles to get mm-hmm. to that place where you can say, all right, I'm going to be committed no matter what comes my way. Yeah, because we've been on we, we've been doing this series about commitment. Are you committed? Mm-hmm. You know, and um, we, you know, sometimes the best way I mean, there's there's no bulletproof plan. Uh, you can you can stay committed um, in this life uh, with all the doldrums in life, um, but there's a way that you can stay committed in Christ, you know, and that's basically, you know, the plan for our lives is right in the Bible. If you follow what the Bible is saying, you can be committed. Amen. When you're faced with anything, when you're faced with trials, when you're faced with tribulations, when you're faced with problems, when you're faced with issues, when you're faced with sinning and the, or the choice to sin, mm-hmm. there's a way that you can stay committed. Yeah. And I, I, I yes, husband, thank you. I, mm-hmm. I think for me, I just wanted to be transparent. I know my husband's been transparent, but I really want to talk to the women tonight because we women, God blessed us. We, you know, we are blessed, but we know that um, 
as women, we do deal with uh, something called a monthly friend. <laughs> and um, for me, I believe that during those times is definitely a test of my commitment mm. where I have to call upon the Holy Spirit, God, the Father, God, the Son, the God, the Holy Spirit. <laughs> I have to be intentional, have a plan and really just um, uh, immerse myself even the more so in, in, in the word and uh, pull from pull from the fruit of the spirit because um, it could be challenging. And so this morning, I was in distress. I had my moment. I was going well, through. Well, yesterday morning, Sunday morning. Yeah, excuse me. Um, yeah, I was going through some distress, y'all. How many know we can be going through some distress during that time? You know, your body's not feeling well. You could be going through some pain, some some changes, and you're just irritable, you know? And it just seems like everybody's just bothering you sometimes. And the last thing you're thinking about is committing Especially if you're in pain or something's going on in your physicals, but even even in even in that physical situation, the word of God still reigns supreme. supreme. And I have been disciplining myself to over to to rise above that what is natural in the natural, so I can overcome and stay committed even even in the midst of. Um, even in even in the midst of my distress, mm-hmm. um, so this morning. Well, don't claim distress. The distress. Don't claim my distress. Don't say that. The distress. Well, right. I'm, I'm taking us back. I'm going somewhere because I'm. Yes, I want to take it back to the scripture okay. when I was going through distress. Yeah, mm-hmm. we won't okay. claim it, but yeah. I just wanted to use it as an example yeah. um, that we can go through distress because I just wanted to encourage you know the women. Just mm-hmm. briefly, and how God promises us, He He promises to to deliver us. Yeah. And so when I was going through my moment, I was like, had to talk to myself. I was like, Oh God, get it together, kid. What is going on with you? Get out of your emotions. Get out. I had to talk to myself. Mm. And then the Lord reminded me uh, of the scriptures, Psalm ninety one and fifteen. Mm. Um. So you all can go to that scripture and we'll read it briefly, but um. Are we going to start with the scripture that we quoted? Well, you can. I, I'm just going to use this scripture just to speak to the women, and then you can um, piggyback and go in with the other scripture. Okay? If that's all right with you, husband. Whatever you say, darling dearest. <laughs> I, just, I just put it in my heart to speak to some woman. This is yes, for ma'am. some woman out here. Um, but thing. um this is the Psalm 91 is a very popular scripture talks about he who dwells in the shelter of the most high will remain secure and rest in the shadow of the almighty. Right. Mm. So it talks about God's promise of being a shelter Mm. and us needing that security in the midst of trouble. So 15 says he will, he will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. Mm. I will rescue him and honor him. Girl, I'm talking to girl, woman, woman of God. I needed some rescue. <laughs> mm. I needed to be rescued from myself because mm. I knew if I would have given in to my moment that I was having, I would have basically missed out on mm. what the Lord wanted to do through me. Mm. And sometimes we have to get out of ourselves, even in those moments and those times of the month and push past the angst or whatever we might be going through and know that it's okay to cry out to the Lord. You know, God help me right now. I need, you know, God says, cry. You can cry and call out to me. I'm going to answer you. You know, you don't have to run um, to the things of the world or whatever you think that might uh, satisfy your emotions to chocolate or what have you. Abba daddy says, you can come to me. And I'm going to answer you. And I'm going to mm. rescue you from your trouble. What was that scripture, the first scripture you gave? Uh, Psalm 91. Psalm 91. Yeah. Okay. Psalm 91, 15 specifically. So um, this is, come on, we've been, I don't know if you all follow us, but we've been meditating on the word of God. Um, you know, for those of you that I've been putting out scriptures because we want to start meditating on this word and we want to apply it. So when things come our way, when these trials and situations like our monthly friends, women, this is the time now we have to act. 
activate this word, right? And now apply it. And so if we do feel like we're getting in our emotions, which is not the will of God, you know, the Bible says to have self-control and that even means during our times, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, Just just what my wife is saying is actually stated in 1 Kings verse 8. Um, 61, Mm -hmm. it says, and may your hearts be fully committed to the Lord, our God, to live by the decrees and obey his commandments um, as at this time. Mm -hmm. So remember what we said. We said that there are certain ways where there there are certain uh, times where you can hear God's voice. And when you hear God's voice, that's the commandment that's given at that time when you hear his voice and you follow his voice. You hear his voice when you read the word of God and when you hear it directly. And at that point, that's when you obey. And it says here that your hearts uh, have to be fully committed to the Lord. Mm-hmm. Okay? And either listening to his word uh, that he, by hearing his voice or through the word of God. And that's what my wife did. She she turned to scripture to help her out. Am I yes. correct in saying yes. so? Yeah. Yes. And it says that in First Kings eight verse sixty one to that's how you that's how you can overcome the hurdles mm-hmm. by um by by uh being fully committed. Let your heart be fully committed yeah. uh to that to that word or yes. to his voice. Amen. Yes, yes. Amen. Yes, well said. And um, so, woman of God, in your moment of weakness, just know that you still have a comforter. You have a God who is there and who's going to answer you in the midst of whatever it is that you're going through. You don't have to stay there. You can turn to him. And so um, just know that whatever responsibility that he's put in your hands, he is expecting you to complete and so we have the tools now to overcome and to push through push through the pain push through the instability and and watch him be the strong and mighty that he says he is when we are weak he can be strong and show up (laughs) and show out and Mm -hmm. and i'm just giving thanks I'm giving thanks and I'm giving praise because it wasn't always like that. You know, Mm -hmm. I'm giving thanks to God for the process of Mm -hmm. my growth and being committed because now we are entrusted with more responsibility. There's Mm -hmm. more entrusted in our care. And Mm -hmm. I have to know and be prepared every time that, um, you know, uh, (laughs) nature comes that I have victory. And yeah. I don't have to um, I don't have to yield to uh, what might in my eyes seem impossible or unyieldable in the moment because I have something that's greater now that I can turn to and I can be delivered and empowered to move forth in what God has called me to once I'm staying the course. Amen. Right. And Se- so there was. Oh, go ahead. Second Timothy mm-hmm. uh, four verse seven says, I have fought the good fight. Yes. I have- Finish the race. Mm -hmm. I have kept the faith. Yes. Yes. Mm. So what am I saying? This this commitment to be committed, it takes a fight. Yeah. With Mm -hmm. your flesh, with your soul to line Mm -hmm. up. What I I had to speak to myself. Mm -hmm. I had to speak to myself. Right? Yep. So there's going to be an action. There's going to be something that you're going to have to do to 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 align i i was like you got to line up in the name of jesus you know speak to yourself get that word um god gave me instructions what to do to get myself where i needed to be so i can be um present Mm -hmm. and fulfill what he called me to do in that moment and that same power that i have access to you have access to as well when my god when it comes to your children when it comes to your spouse when it comes to any any responsibility or hat that you're wearing or role position of authority, you don't have to succumb to it. Yeah. You don't. Yeah, that's true because you can fulfill your commitments and responsibility with grace yeah. and move forward. 
Yeah, that's it. Amen. A lot of times when we, a lot of times when we um, act out, I know you're talking to women, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm talking to men and women as a whole. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when we act out, when we when we act out of distress, mm -hmm. whatever the case, um, it's fear. Mm -hmm. It's panic. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Fear is fear is the cousin of panic. Mm -hmm. Panic is the um is the daughter of stress. Mm -hmm. uh, of um of fear. Mm -hmm. Okay, all stems from fear. Fear uh, turns into three psychological phenomenons. Fright, fight or flight. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, like you said, it could cause issues in marriage and friendships at mm -hmm. work or mm -hmm. the job. You know, with your children, mm -hmm. um, it can. I I I was recently um, talking to the sister in Christ, mm -hmm. and she was telling me how um, she 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 gets stressed very easily, mm -hmm. and then um, it turns out that um, her her brother stresses out, who's older than her, mm -hmm. and then from her. Uh, f her brother stresses out, finds out that um, her f her, f uh, her uh, mother is always stressed out. Mm -hmm. So it's generational. It's a learned behavior. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it, it trickles down. And so just imagine the woman being that time a month and she's already uh, has st stress issues, mm -hmm. fear issues, mm -hmm. panic issues. Mm -hmm. And then she gets, a, you know, that time a month. Mm hmm that could be a problem. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know? So, um, it says in scripture that there's something that uh, we must do to uh, to make sure that God is working through us. And you go to Colossians 1, verse 29, says, To the end, I strenuously contend with all the energy Christ, Christ so powerfully works, works in, in me. me that he is your cornerstone. Yes. He your is your rod. He is what you grab onto and hold onto to get through anything. Yes. When you hold on to him, when you seek him, when you search him with all your heart, mind, and your soul, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you will find a strength that you never thought you had before. Yes, Lord. I mean, we're talking about the one who went to the cross for us. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. So, who else to turn to for commitment than him? Yeah. Yeah. Christ will empower you to stay committed. Mm hmm He will empower you. And I'm, I'm, I'm just in awe. Once you surrender your way and your know-how and what you think, and you just listen to the still small voice and he tells you what to do. Yeah. It's like night and day, right? Yeah. <laughs> It literally is no because you know uh, we 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 went through it. We, we you know we I think we were talking about this before. We were, yeah. we're two firecrackers. If I'm not the cracker, she's the fire. And if she's not the fire, then I'm the cracker, and vice versa. We gets it in because we're both two strong-minded, passionate individuals, and we can go all night. We have went all night when we stick to something. When she got in, when she got a view, when I got a view, it is it's it's like it's on and popping. You know, that's, and that's just how that's how we get down. You know, and um, uh, we, you know, it, it, it happened to us yesterday. We, when we, 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 you had a view, I had a view. We weren't letting up, and we had to do church. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we had to do church. Yeah. You know, and so um, from us having went through it before, mm -hmm. and. Um, uh, having given into the distractions and not getting done what we had to get done, we've paid the price for that. Mm -hmm. So yesterday, the transparent moment, you know, we got, we 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 were almost getting into it, mm -hmm. right? I mean, no, we were committed. We were committed to doing church. I just want you to think about this. Here it is: two pastors, <laughs> two devil slayers. Mm -hmm. About to get into it to open up some portals to let Satan in mm -hmm. right before we're supposed to do church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. And so, there's some things that we had to do in order to 
maintain a level of commitment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we had to look into ourselves. She looked into herself mm -hmm. with Christ. Mm -hmm. And I looked into myself with Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you ever think that you're about to do something wrong or you sense you're about to do something wrong and you got to look within to find Christ that means you might be doing something wrong mm. <laughs> nine, nine, 9 out of 10 times uh, 9 out of 10 times um, it means that you're about to go another way and step out of the commitment that you're supposed to have with the creator with whatever calling he has for you to do uh, just you being a Christian mm -hmm. you whatever whether, whether you're a pastor whether you're a praise and worship minister whether you're a, a, a healer or whatever the case if you got to search within to find Christ about something that you're about to do most likely you're not supposed to be doing it mm -hmm. amen so it's great it's great it says what it says it says that you have to uh, contend. You have to strenuously contend in Colossians, it says, to seek Christ first. Because then, because he's the powerful one that works in you to, to help you. So, so you're holy. So, so what happens is you're fighting against your soul. That's the fight. That's the stress. That's the strenuous thing that you have to do. You got to fight against your soul, which your soul wants all that smoke. Right. Your soul wants to smoke. Your soul wants to throw the shade. All right. But your spirit is saying something else. You yeah. gotta fight against your soul, yes. which is said in Galatians. Your mind, will and the self control. You have to have the self control yes. to fight against your soul to speak to Holy Spirit. Yeah. Who will tame your soul. Yes, yes, yes. If you've just joined us, this is the Love Chapters. I'm Mrs. Devil Slayer. I'm Mr. Devil Slayer. And we are talking about the realities of staying committed in the process to commit the process what it looks like and in general it's positive power to yes, radio sharing show. some um just being transparent and sharing our uh obstacles yeah. on our way to uh, walk. fulfilling our own commitments and what that can look like for you too to help you stay committed and overcome obstacles in your own personal lives Amen. Yeah, we're talking about you're going to have to fight. Yeah, to fight. it's a fight. You're going to have to fight. You know, women, especially. I was just giving some encouragement to women. You can overcome in your emotions, tapping into the fruit of the Spirit, going to the, going to the Holy Spirit even more to keep your emotions in check, not flying off at the handle. You don't, we can be above that. We can be above it, we can overcome, and we can stay composed to be able to fulfill the call of God on our lives. That's right. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. At yeah. all times. Yeah, yeah. Because, right, because when we, when, when we was about to get into the argument, I guess it was sort of kind of like into it, not into it. Um, uh, I spoke to God, right? And my flesh wanted to like I love a good argument I, I love a good debate I love a good argument I could argue he's the king of debate <laughs> I, 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 I just love getting into it because I, I like to be right I like to be right okay especially if something is not logical I'm like oh yeah that's that's barbecue chicken for me I think that's more of a, a gift that you have mm-hmm Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Depending on the way that I use it. Now, yeah, I was just about to say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> discernment. Listen. Like, he'd be a good politician. Yeah. Look, I'm a prophet. He he gets okay? a lot of people saved, y'all. Atheists, like, he, you don't want to go up against Mr. Double <laughs> and talking to him Glory about to why God don't exist. Glory to God. Glory <laughs> to God. So, so what happens is that as a prophetic anointing is upon us, we're able to you know, pick things apart, see things before they yeah. happen, know what people are going to say. So I'm already on top of it. Yeah. I'm already on top before you say something. Mm -hmm. I already got an answer for it because I know what you're going to say. Mm -hmm. You see, so. Um, Very skillful. Yeah, yeah, it's skillful. <laughs> but sometimes it can be ego 
It could be my ego talking because I know I got it like that. Oh. You see what I'm saying? So when we were arguing yesterday, I could just pick through all the parts that are like, nah, this ain't, nah, 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 nah. All right, I got this. So yeah, no, nah, I'm about to cut her. I'm about to cut her with this. I got it. I got it. And so, uh, so um, needless to say, the Holy Spirit said, be still. <laughs> no, he said, be quiet. <laughs> he said, be silent. He said, be still. <laughs> Don't say, but I said, oh God, but I got her on this one. Be still. He said, let me handle it. I was like, okay, daddy. And so peace came over me. Peace. See what I mean? I had a conversation with God and peace came over me. The peace helped me to tame the ego. Wow, that's good. Right? Where I knew I didn't have to prove anything Mm. and to do anything. Right. So what are we saying on your quest to keeping your commitments, whether mm-hmm. it be your commitment to serving in church, yeah. your commitment to writing a book, yes. your commitment to yes. your employer, yes. your commitment, whatever it is you're committed to yeah. being a, a, a mother, a father on yeah. that, on your way, uh-huh. on your journey, mm-hmm. there will be obstacles, distractions, there will be distractions. Mm-hmm. And you have to decide woman of God, man of God, yeah. what you're going to do in that moment. Are your emotions going to lead you to or away from that commitment in that moment? Whatever's going on in your mind, body, and emotions, the Holy Spirit is here to tell you that you have the fruit of the Spirit to overcome, the Word of God to overcome. You have weapons of warfare to overcome in that moment and not let it overtake and overcome you in Jesus' name. Yeah, what she said. (laughs) So I'm here to encourage you and empower you on your journeys to being more committed, to, to, to get your commitment game on lock. Those of you who are already committed, kudos to you. You, yeah. we all have areas that we can always tighten up in the in the name of Jesus. But we're going to be slip. people of commitment Amen. in 2022. Yeah. Committed, committed, commitment. Yeah, Hallelujah yeah, on yeah, our yeah. jobs and to our spouses, yeah. to to the um our our projects in the name yeah. of Jesus. Hallelujah yep. to our ministry ministerial endeavors. Yes. He who is faithful with few will be yeah. faithful to much. So yeah. we. We just want to empower, empower and encourage yeah. you that it is possible to overcome in the midst of temptation. Um, um, hallelujah. That uh, no weapon that is formed against you and I shall prosper on this journey. Amen. You see, because what's happening is, is right. We're living in an evil, dark age and Satan is running out of time so it is sue with side seeking. seeking he's seeking y'all right he's seeking who right. may devour yes 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 so it is ready it is just it is just uncovered itself mm-hmm. itself in this this nasty diabolical age mm-hmm. that it it, it had it, it, that that whatever has birthed is is you you see the abomination forming Right in front of your very eyes. And what happens is in Galatians 1 verse 4, it says, Jesus, who gave himself for our sins to rescue us from this present evil age. According to the will of our God and Father, it's telling you right now that the age that we're living in is evil. Mm. Evil. Right. And us as Christians. So God has given us a call and God has called down to us. Remember, it says in the will, it says it says the will of our God and father is to protect us against the evil age, according to the will of our father, because the will of our father is to do his bidding is to do what he wants us to do. So there's a calling us on the lives that we are supposed to be fulfilling. So Jesus sacrificed his life on the cross so that we could be protected from the whims the will of this evil age of Satan, of his demonic horde, so that we can continue on spreading the love of the gospel and kingdom business. So it's important for us not to be distracted, but to stay committed. And we can if we just grasp onto this word and hearing his voice, which will be the commandment that you have to follow. Not the old law, but his voice. Amen. Very Amen. important. You're going to see drugs come into your life uh, to try to tempt you. You're going to see pornography come into your life to try to tempt you. You will see fornication come into your life to try to tempt you. Mm-hmm. You will see uh, uh, criminality, criminology 
criminal ways come into your life to try to tempt you. You will see a lot of things to try to tempt you, but you must fight against it by calling on the on on blood, the pleading of blood over the situation. Even Go your ahead. own lustly de desires. Yes, yes, the Bible yes, says yes. you can be drawn away by your own lust. Yeah, whatever you know, your flesh. Your lustly desires are, and it can draw you away mm -hmm. as well. It's not always externally, but it could be internally as well. Yeah. Those could be distractions, and you got to say no. Yeah. In Jesus' name. That's it. Focus. That's it. Focus. Focus. Focus ability. And, and, and right, when 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 you use your own lust, it, it, it will use the your, your emotions. Mm -hmm. The lust of the yep. flesh, the lust of the eyes, what, what you can see. So, 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 so look out, child, the guy who you're. Who you're talking to, who you're rapping to, who your relationships are with, um, what you're looking at on TV, what you're listening to. I'm seeing a lot of videos with Christians using uh, secular music to to describe themselves and so forth and so on. Don't mm -hmm. don't use those things mm -hmm. because you're opening up portals, not just for yourself but other individuals. You open up portals to evil evil uh, spiritual realms, which where you're letting out evil spirits um, um, to get into these people to control them to to, 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 to manifest in their lives uh, through, through witchcraft and demagoguery you don't want that to happen but you're doing it with the music that you're playing you gotta be careful child of God use discernment don't think that you're just a regular person that can just go around listening and, and, and putting out certain types of music and, and and, and, and things like that because you're actually helping to support the witchcraft that Satan is using to control these to control the unknowing people to stay on its side instead of coming over to the kingdom to coming over to the kingdom I hope I'm making sense here yeah yeah we're talking about uh, how to commit how to stay committed y'all all you gotta do is go to God and he'll tell you that you're not supposed to be listening to this you're not supposed to be doing this and it says, let us not become weary in doing good. What is doing good? Doing good is doing what's righteous, is what's doing what's holy, is doing what's good, is being humble. But the only way that you're going to do that is by going to the Creator. It says Galatians 6, 9, let us not become weary in doing good for all the proper time. He, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. You cannot give up. you got to, like yes. my wife said, you got to stay focused. Yeah, yeah, it could be a commitment to reading your word every day. Yeah. It could be a commitment to going back to the gym. Whatever your commitments yeah. are. Um, mm -hmm. It could be a goal. It could be a, a, a project. It could be, you know, like us, a church. I mean, people you're committed to. Whatever your commitment is, there will be something that will try to distract you or deter you. And we've got to be ready and equipped to handle it accordingly so we can overcome as the overcomers we are. So we just wanted to exhort you. We didn't even get into the foundation scripture that he had that's um, fine because we no no we, you, you you did I, 91, oh, we Psalm, did. Psalm 91 oh, we we're did, on we point did. okay yeah um, John 8 verse 12 uh, when Jesus spoke again to the people he said I am the light of the world whoever follows me will never walk in darkness but will have the light of life you are the light mm, amen. you are the light children of God yes. but you also have the propensity to be the divination of light which is the wrong type of light. You could be light that leads right to darkness. Okay? And it's not darkness that's bad, but it's what is in the darkness. So Jesus says Jesus says, follow him. Mm -hmm. So when you follow him, you will find out what is the light and how you're supposed to be the light so that you're the, the right type of light. Mm -hmm. So you can be the fire of the Holy Spirit and not the fire of illumination. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So that so that you can uh be walking in his steps and not in the steps of Satan so he can order your steps. See now what happens is that that's going to be a problem in the beginning for the believer because you're going to be fighting against the flesh. Mm. You're going to be fighting against what the flesh wants to do. Mm -hmm. But the more that you walk in the light, the more that you see the sin now from a spiritual aspect other than a flesh aspect, and then you'll be more akin to, to go the way of, uh, of the Holy Spirit, which is the light. And trust and believe there's somebody that's watching you. 
Amen. There's something that's watching you because whether you're doing your your your, your dirty, your dark and a dark in a booth in the back and in 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 a basement, what you do in the dark comes out in the light. You can only you can only hide for so long before you people see what you're doing. People Amen. can see, but what so is it? What, what, why, why do people practice? People practice because when they get in the public, they do what they do in practice. So when you're practicing in dark ways, it's going to be seen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So if you're a child of the light, what do you do? In the dark, in the booth, in the back, follow Jesus, and the dark will be light. Yeah. Amen. And you want to give off that light as well. Amen. So, no, I didn't see that. do we share the other side of what commitment looks like, what it looked like, once we traversed past our obstacles? Yes, please go. The other side of it. Please what do. What happened? I'm going to let you oh, really? lead. Oh, you, what, 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 after we... Yeah. What, what do you mean? After we got through what we yeah, got through? Yeah, Oh, man, we had a love. We had, we had a wonderful day. Mm-hmm. We were able to do church. Yeah. Church was a success. The Lord showed up and showed out. He showed out. Even when we ran into some technical difficulties yeah. at church, oh, we just kept it all in 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 with Holy Spirit. We stayed calm, mm-hmm. whatever the case, and we got through a fabulous service. Yeah. Um. And and it was wonderful. The word of God was spoken. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think it was the best service that we've done yet mm-hmm. with the Lord. You know, with the Lord in tow. It was, it was, it was one of ease too. Yeah. You know, yeah. we had to press our way, but yeah. once we got, yeah, got to the location, um, and we just like rested mm-hmm. in Jesus and His peace. Mm-hmm. It was just like the Holy Spirit just, you know, was allowed to just move through yeah. us once we got ourselves out the way, you know, and right. got our acts together. <laughs> Right, exactly. When you get your act together with the Lord, the ego it's out, all, all of that. It's, He's like, listen, like, you know, it's like a father chastening his his children. Y'all need yeah. to get it together. Yeah. Speaking of getting it <laughs> together, thank you, for his thank you for your grace, Daddy. Hey, Amen. Thank you, Father. Speaking of getting it together, it's that time already. Oh wow. Where uh, you can get it together with the Lord. Yeah. Make yourself one me, with the man. Lord. And you really see the light, amen, where you can um, start to um, be the light as well. Yes. So if you desire to receive Jesus into your heart, repeat after me. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I admit that I am a sinner. I admit that I'm a sinner. And I do not want to be a sinner anymore. And I do not want to be a sinner anymore. I repent of my sins. I repent of my sins. I believe you died. I believe you died. And you rose. And you rose. To forgive me. To forgive me. And I receive you into my heart. And I receive you into my heart. Come and live in me, live in me, through me, through me, and mold me, and, mold and shape me, me in all me that, in that you all would have me to be. That you would have me to be. And I thank you, Lord, and that, according you, Lord word, that according to your word, I am saved. I am saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says a thousand angels, they are rejoicing. Yes, Lord. Right at this very moment, if you said that prayer, yes, you Lord. have just crossed over. Satan has lost yes. one. He has lost one. Lost another one. Yes. You're in. So you have a purpose. Yeah. You have a plan that, um, excuse me, God has a plan for your life. Yeah. And um, we are excited. Yeah. If you would like to uh, learn more about this plan yeah. and learn about your place in the kingdom of God, please yes, reach Lord. out to us at uflministriesintl at gmail.com. We'd love to pray for you and yes. walk, disciple you. Yeah. Do the things of God. There's so much in store for you, beloved. Yes, Lord. Amen. Yeah. 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 That's you you said it you said it perfectly bad. Yeah. Amen. We, we we just wanna say that um yeah, we we thank all our listeners and um yes. thank you, Jerry. And uh it's time. We'll see you next week. Yes, and just remember, stay yeah. committed in yeah. your endeavors and right. watch God come through on your behalf. Yes, and we really love you. From and the only bottom God. Bottom top of our heart and only God. Jesus. And the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Love you more. Ciao for now. That's right. Hey, yo, thank you. He's about to hit up this patrol. 
and step off to the spot. You down? Nah, man. I ain't messing with that. Why? Let me tell you why. Well, it's that God in me. The God? What you talking about? Well, it's that God in me. You say God? What? Well, it's that God in me. God. You don't know who I'm talking about? Let me tell you. Well, it's that God in me. Check this out. God. God. Let me break it down to you. God. Jesus taught us how to hold our head. That's why his blood bled red and made the curse dead. And instead, we're supposed to make sure that when we break bread, it's not by alcohol that we are led. We are led by the spirit. We obey, not to say we prove it. When we do it to the world, we say screw it. We go through it. Ain't nothing to it. Forget like it. We just do it how we do it. And then we move it. Our feet to God's beat. All of him and none of me. Overcoming with the blood. Victory at his peak. Well, listen. Well, it's that God in me. Well, it's that God in me. God. Well, it's that God in me. God. 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 How can we love others if we're destroying our bodies? Ingesting poisons, popping pills in the party. Selling drugs against the thugs, claiming Gotti. Not me, not D, I'm God body. I'm God status, armor of God is my shoddy. The streets took my man's life, his name was Artie. R.I.P. to my aunt, her name was Dottie. I don't think I'm better than you, no, I'm not snotty. Jesus didn't think he was better than anybody. He just came with God's word to those who party hardy. To tell them all to stop that bloody dotty. He came to separate the family daughters from their mommies. He uncovered the palm readers, the mystics, and the swamis. All the dead would rise up from their beds and their jammies. And be judged by Jehovah in front of all the angels in heaven. God's army. Well, it's that God in me. God's army. What well, is that God in me? God. Well, it's the God in me. God. You are listening to Jewish Live Worldwide Podcast.